Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to another December Daily layout. We are working on layout number 21. I think this is going to be really, really simple. But I just wanted to bring you back here because my last video that I did was just more kind of chaotic, more catching up, and so I thought we could slow down a bit. I am documenting some photos that I took of the final dollhouse that I have made for my daughter. I know you can't really see too well in the pictures here, of course. Um, we have the dining room up here with the kitchen, the bedroom, and down here is the bathroom and the living room. I am going to do a video of the dollhouse so you guys can see what it all looks like, but I also have some little photos that are more kind of zoomed in of each. I had an idea to turn this into a pocket so that each section could be pulled out and you could get a better look of the zoomed in version. I think that's what we will do. I also have this frame here that I thought I might use, but I'm going to set it to the side because I don't know. And then I just have some ephemera pieces here that I also may use. So let's go ahead. I know that I want to do that pocket idea, so I'm going to use some scrap paper. And I want to make this just a teeny bit bigger. I might want to add some lace. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but let's go ahead and just start by cutting this out. So yeah, I will have a video kind of a video tour of the dollhouse because I've had a few people ask and want to see. And I did make a lot of the things. Unfortunately, I didn't film it because it was really, really involved. I didn't know what I was doing, and so I. I didn't take any picture or any videos of that. I did take some before and after photos though. Okay, so let me see. I'm hoping actually that I can make pockets that would be big enough for all of these. I think so. Yeah, I definitely can. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of hold this here and eyeball it. I'm basically just gonna sew all the way around and then I will, um, uh, what am I, sew off the little sections. I'm going to try and get my sewing machine in view here, but we'll just do this pretty quick here. I'm just gonna sew around the three edges first. Grab this, nothing too fancy. I may wanna add some, that's right, I think I wanna add some lace, so. Had this lace here too that I thought would be kind of nice to add somehow just to make the picture a little prettier and so I think I'm just gonna trim that down and I'll just, just so I don't have to glue it on while we're already here I'll just glue it to the bottom here so actually I'm gonna flip that over and I like to do it this way to where I'm just sewing it right on top so the lace is on top of the paper Okay, now I will just go ahead and grab one of those photos and sort of use it as a guide so that I can make sure my pockets will be big enough. And I'll probably just hold that there so I can make sure it's kind of straight. not going for perfect but and then we'll need one for this section so I think I can do that right here and I should make sure that another picture will fit but that will be that will be a little tight okay so good to know so I can trim the photos then. I probably made that first pocket section just maybe a little too big, but that's okay because we can make that work. Okay, let's bring this back. And now I want to do some kind of pull tab situation here. And I have just this signature that I had and I ended up not using. And so I think I'll just just cut off some really simple 
or yeah, some really simple tabs here. And I think I will just, I'm not really even worried about the tab showing like what the image is on here. I just want it to be obvious that there's something in the pocket. Okay. Ooh, maybe I could also date stamp on one of these. I'm not sure. Okay, actually, you know what? While I have my sewing machine here, I will, I know it's out of view, but I'm just gonna sew the tab on really quick so that I don't have to find my staple. So we'll just go like, and I'm gonna repeat that to all three. And it does cut off a tiny bit of the picture, but that's okay because you still get to mostly see the more, um, the, the, <laughs> you get to see the view better. Okay, I'm sewing at such a weird angle right now, but we just have one more to go. Let's do it. And then we can finish putting this spread together. I also found some really cute paper that has some little houses on it. Not doll houses, but houses nonetheless. And I thought, oh, I also grabbed, that's right. I did grab some packaging from the dollhouse and I'm using these calico critters. Totally forgot about that. So I'm actually gonna just cut off one of these labels here. I thought it would be just kind of cute to document because I know later it would be fun to go back and see. So that was like the dolls that we've used along with other ones of course. And then this was uh, some of the dollhouse furniture like pieces and um, this has some staples in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rip those out. Okay, I may go ahead and just put these in a little envelope, like, let me grab a little glassine envelope, I think is what I'll do. Instead of like putting them on the spread, I just want them to be little pieces here. Um, and you know what, I might add to this a little bit of the fabric that I had been using. Um, this is one, but I have a couple other scraps because I made a lot of like the bedding and things like that. And so I will also add in later some little scraps from the other pieces, but I got to figure out where to put this. So let's see here. Let's go ahead now and just finalize this. So I forgot that I may need to cut this down just a little bit and that's okay. We'll just eyeball it. That works. I think it would be cute to do this same type of idea, but like maybe make door, make these into doors where you could open them and then have your pictures um, be view, viewable. And you could even use this idea for all, like all kinds of things. Okay, like, I don't know, say you're documenting your scrapbook room or something. Whoops, that was not straight. And you could take like a picture of a closet, something like that, and then put, have little doors where you could show like what's in each little section or something. I don't know. Just kind of gave me an idea. Okay. Gosh, I, yeah, I don't know. I thought I was doing good, but then when you're kind of free handing the sewing and you don't, you're not at a good angle, stuff like this happens. Okay. Let's do that. So I think that's just gonna go over here. And then I have that envelope, but I also had this little, it's like a little ad kind of thing from Tim Holtz and it, you know, it says toys and dolls. And, and I just thought that might be cute. I don't even think I need to really add journaling to this layout. Um, what if I make this like a little tuck spot and maybe that's where I could put 
that, it would have to be a little dimensional, if that makes sense. Maybe, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and glue half of this on, like that. I kind of like how it's unusual, sh unusually shaped. Um, and I was just going to glue this down, but since I want to add something that's a little bit more dimensional, um, I think I'll sew. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. I'm going to just go ahead and glue this down to the page. Just remembered that I had some paper I wanted to use for the background, and I could go ahead and cut off some of this lace because it's just adding dimension. And you're not going to see this part. telling you guys it's taken me a while to get back into the swing of documenting so before I put that down oh my goodness is this just me every day this I had used some wood um, scrapbooking paper for the floor I'm just gonna tear this so I totally forgot that I thought it might be cute to kind of do that and then also, I did some kind of DIY wallpaper out of scrapbook paper and other various things. And so I thought, why not include that? Kind of like the, I mean, you're not really going to be able to see it too much. Okay, so this is on printer paper, so it is pretty thin. Um... I may have wanted to use like double-sided glue, but at the same time, I just want to get it down. <laughs> okay. Okay, now what else? I need to also add, there we go. I just want it to be kind of messy. I also need to add the date somewhere. So I think I said this was for layout 21. If you've made a dollhouse before, let me know down below and I don't know what kind of what kind of dollhouse was it? Oh, do you have any tips or anything like that? Fun things that I could add. Okay, so you can see, yeah, you didn't really actually see too much of the background, but that's okay. You can see some at the top and a little bit at the bottom and the sides, so that's okay. We live and we learn. Okay, now for this pocket, like I said, I think I'm going to need to at least back that a little bit. So let's just take some scrapbook paper again see my uh, head is starting to hurt again and it was feeling fine earlier I think it might have something to do with um, my neck or something that would make sense okay I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly sew around but I'm actually going to put the envelope right here make sure not to sew it in. That's gonna help me make sure that I have enough dimension or like space, I guess you would say, in that pocket. But you just gotta be sure not to sew it in. And I did not sew in the envelope. Okay, we're almost done, I promise. We'll just glue that pocket down. That's one of my tricks is when you're creating pockets for your journal, create it onto a second piece of paper before just adhering it down. Like, I mean, you, you don't have to. You can just put one piece of paper down and glue around the edges or whatnot. I just find this to be a little bit sturdier and better in the long run, personally. So I think I might end up doing just the tiniest bit of journaling, and so I'll do it on this tag, and while I'm at that, I will just cut a tiny piece of fabric for the top of the tag, and then I think I will 
date stamp and then we will be on our way folks and then dang just like a few more layouts although i will say for my christmas layouts i i i usually add lots and lots of pictures and journaling and things like that okay i'm trying to just kind of set that up cutely <laughs> let me also just finish with the date stamp real quick here i think i will actually just date stamp onto the tag at the top there we go so i'll just have that kind of peeking through i will add my journaling onto the tag i'm just going to basically say like this is the dollhouse that i made and then i think because i'm being extra i'm going to also take the letters 21 here and you can't really see um here we go i'll use some of this i'm gonna also rip off a teeny bit of the floral and a teeny bit of the wood just not perfect i'm just gonna make it a little collagey bit and actually i'm gonna oh my gosh see i do this all the time i'm like i'm gonna be simple i'm gonna sew down the middle here oh no i lost my paper didn't i say this was gonna be simple guys <laughs> please tell me you're the same we'll just go like this and i'm, I'm gonna put it on a zigzag stitch I think we will the Christmas miracle the Marilyn filling our stockings we'll just put a grace and light okay we'll just put a couple of these word stickers make a wish we'll say make a wish the Christmas miracle 21 um, I you know what I should I always feel like I should have put the wood <laughs> behind the numbers because like that was the whole point of me putting that down so you could see it better so look at that we're gonna do all kinds of weird things here we'll do 20 one and then we'll stick this down and we will be done with this layout all right guys i hope that you're doing well and i hope that you are able to be working in your journals finishing them if that's what you so wish to do and i will see you guys soon just go like that perfect okay see you guys later bye